Golden Earrings is about a young woman named Wani and her best friend Sarah. Have fun tonight. Okay. When Sarah mysteriously disappears, Wani's whole world becomes unraveled and she just really can't cope with the disappearance of her friend. She came back. There's no way. I mean, that could only be. Yeah, she's dead. She's part of a very close-knit group of people and they start noticing the changes. She swore she actually saw Sarah. It's your fault. The movie's just really about how Ronnie views her friend, her relationship with Sarah, and how when one element of that becomes disrupted, the whole thing kind of falls apart and descends to a place that she can't ever really come back from. <laughs> The origin of the story came from personal experience. I've noticed this relationship that, and experienced this relationship that a lot of young women have where you form a friendship with another woman and you just kind of become more than friends. They kind of become your whole world and you get very attached to them and there is a slightly obsessive nature to it and it's not quite romantic, but love is definitely an element to it. Marion started writing it probably when we both moved to LA, which was in 2001, and then it kind of disappeared for a few years and we didn't hear anything about it, and then she brought it out and said, I want to make this, and I said, great. I think I tried to merge sort of my real life and this film the best way I could without being creepy, because I think there's something that is sort of inherently creepy if you take anything that's as much from your real life as this movie really is and you put it up for everyone to view and judge and take a look at. And I sort of wrote Ronnie with Julia in mind always. I thought that she would just really understand this girl very well. Just, you know, having a realistic place where this person is coming from and not just sort of devolving into any sort of weird, crazy stereotypes, you know? I was actually really scared to come in and play Ronnie in the first place. There's a lot of inner turmoil going on with her. We talked a, a lot about it and she just, she got it. In a way, not a lot of people who read it did. And that, to me, gave me more security that she would be able to do it than anything else. Really, I thought she'd be perfect for it. I think she is. Golden Earrings had sat on my desktop for so long. A certain number of things had to line up in order to make it really feasible. And then you just kind of set the date and be like, okay, well, we're gonna do it on this week or these two weeks or the whatever. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen because there's always going to be like the endless excuses of like, oh, well, this isn't there, and this isn't really ready, and da 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 da. Working with my producer had a lot to do with that because I think he brought to the table a lot of resources that I wasn't really sure about. It was so well thought out. There was only six primary actors. It was almost one location with one exception. It was so constructed around a doable model. It was like he had the other half that I didn't really know much about. But the script had finally gotten itself to a place where I was like, I don't think there's really much more I can do with it, honestly. And it really was just a matter of not giving yourself any more excuses, really. You know, I mean, I wanted to make it, I'd wanted to make it for a long time. And I had enough resources and certainly, you know, with the actors, enough talent that it was, it could definitely be done and done well. So, it's like, why not? <laughs> All right, so let's go. Marion is a very capable director and I think she's very organized and very precise and she has a very clear idea of what she wants and she's not going to stop until she gets that. I think the fact that Marion is an actor as well makes it a lot easier for her to communicate with you because she knows exactly where you are and where you're coming from as an actor. And I felt like I could really trust her. If she had input on my acting, I knew that I could trust that it was a good choice. She actually does an awesome job of getting you to where she wants you to be. And it's the same thing you've been doing, Lauren. It's the same sort of like, propel this conversation. Like, this is the juicy stuff. Okay. It's nice to be involved, frankly, in an independent film. And when I say independent, I mean legitimately independent, like funded out of someone's pocket. So one person's pocket, and then by pulling in a bunch of favors. That kind of independent film. You know, if you're writing something that you know and you know well, I think you just have to really trust that. Really sticking to your guns, I think, and thinking that if this is really real for me, it's gonna be real for somebody else. Audiences will connect with this film because at the base and at the heart of the film, it's about relationships and we all have relationships with people and we all have friendships that, that change or evolve through time. A lot of that's gonna come from the fact that we are really friends. So I think there's something natural there that you don't often get to see in movies. But I guess I hope more than anything else that it's the relationship between the two girls that's understood. I think the idea of the relationship between Sarah and Ronnie is something a lot of people can relate to having been someone that feels uncomfortably close to their friend or having be the other person whose friend is very close to them. Jealousy of friendship or loss in that someone doesn't 
turn to you as they always have. I mean, you spend a great deal of time with people that you may not know very well, but you think you do because you're with them all the time. I think that the film takes a really sharp switch and I think that's really great that it starts out as kind of this fun, lighthearted comedy and there's friends goofing around and then it transforms into this thriller and I think that that's going to catch a lot of audience members off guard but I think it's going to be really, really fun for them. If you see a portrayal of a relationship, you know, that is honest and means something to them, that would resonate and that would be something that's interesting to watch. So, I guess that's the most I can hope for. <laughs>